Hi everybody, thanks for stopping by. Today we're gonna work on a cow neckline gown inspired by Carolyn Bissett's wedding dress that she wore when she got married. This is my pathetic sketch. I did the best I could. <laughs> so this dress will have a cow neckline in the front and the back and it will be not a white wedding dress because I need to use some recycled fabric left over from another sewing project, which is this stuff right here. This really pretty shimmery stretch velvet that I used for another sewing challenge. So this is what we're doing. So let's get started. So you're gonna need your basic bodice pattern, the front, and you're gonna trace it out. You're going to start at your armhole and go halfway up the armhole where it starts to straighten out and then make a small line and then just continue tracing out the rest of your front bodice. You don't have to trace the neckline because we're not going to be using the neckline. So you can, you can sketch it, but you don't have to. Then where you made your little mark where the armhole is, you're going to get your ruler and draw a line straight across. And this is going to represent where the cowl neckline starts and also where you'll be adding your shoulder straps. So once you've drawn your line, go ahead and take your paper and fold it in half along that line you just drew. When you start cutting, make sure you start at the fold line where your armhole is and then continue cutting through there. So like I mentioned before, we're not going to cut out the neck hole, we're just going to cut straight past it. And then where you made that line where you're going to be folding the fabric over, grab a marker and make a one inch slash line which is where your shoulder straps will be inserted and sewed into. And then you will get your ruler, go two inches down from the armpit, make a small mark. And then where that mark is, you are gonna start to draw a curve up all the way to the top of the paper, depending on how droopy you want your cow neckline is how much of a curve you're gonna make. So for example, if you want it really long and droopy, you'd wanna have a lot more fabric going upwards. And then because I have OCD, I for some reason thought that I needed to reinforce my blue dotted line and make it a solid blue line. And that's just weird stuff that I do. So after you finish cutting that out, you finish the bodice part. So I got my hip curve ruler, my mini skirt pattern, and the bodice that we just made and put it on the fold of my fabric and just went with it. Um, this was kind of risky. I didn't know how it was going to turn out, but I don't know. It seemed like a good idea at the time. So I cut it out. This is what the pattern ended up looking like. This is the pattern that you're going to use for both the front and the back. So get your front piece and then 
put it right side up and then match your your um, armhole to armhole and then pin that down and that's where you're going to be sewing to create the cowl neckline it's really important you sew it down too if you're working with a thick fabric like i am like stretch velvet because the fabric tends to shift under the machine so pinning it down just makes everything a lot easier and smoother And then just make sure you do the other side as well. And then once you've done that, you can flip it inside out. And that's what you get. This is what the front of your it should look like. I also got my scissors and snipped my shoulder strap hole a little bit bigger because I didn't think the snip I made was big enough. Make sure you pin everything down near the bodice when you put your right sides together and sew them down because you're going to be sewing through four layers of fabric on the bodice area so it's really good to pin it down so everything's you know, nice and smooth when you sew it down. So now I'm cutting out my shoulder straps. I just made them an inch wide and 15 inches long. That was long enough for my shoulders. And then using a ruler and a weight, I just made sure that they were both even and the same. And then just like with any other strap, I folded it in half and sewed it down. And then I used a safety pin to torture myself and turn it inside out the hard way because I love doing things the hard way, I guess. And also make sure to trim down your edges before you turn your shoulder straps inside out. That will really help them look a lot smoother. And all that extra fabric bunching up inside, it just makes the strap look really bulky and just lumpy and just weird. And it just doesn't look good. And then you can turn your strap inside out with a safety pin and drive yourself insane. So I went ahead and put the shoulder strap through that little hole inside out and then sewed it down. And then I was done with the strap. I decided to go ahead and make the veil. I really didn't want to actually, but I have a bunch of this, you know, told lying around and it's getting really wrinkly. So I fold it in half, cut it a piece that I thought would fit for a veil, grabbed some needle and thread and gathered it got my comb and sewed my veil to the comb. You can glue it, but I just like to sew it. I think it just looks a lot cleaner that way. Then I rummaged through my trim drawer, trying to find something interesting to put on the veil so it didn't look so boring. And yeah, I think that's gonna be it. I wanna use this, but I just don't know what it's for. So that's the veil with the trim. I went ahead and hand glued that on to the veil. And because I'm sparkly, I put some Swarovski crystals onto it as well. So I went ahead and put the gown on my mannequin that is extremely skinny 
but the neckline turned out really, really pretty, exactly the way I really wanted it to turn out. And the fabric really makes it look nice and flowy and sparkly and shimmery. And this is the back of the gown, the back cowl neckline. <laughs> so it was just a very delicate kind of droopy effect. And it just looks really elegant. And this isn't a wedding dress. It's more of a maxi dress to me. So this could be worn really for any occasion. It's very tasteful, elegant. It's not too revealing. And in the wind, it you know, looks all pretty and flowy and stuff. And there's the veil. I am so glad I put those little crystals on. They're so sparkly in the sun. They really catch the light perfectly. But I think what I'm going to do, because this veil is so wrinkled, is I'm probably going to cut it a lot shorter and then steam it so it's nice and flat. Because the bottom of it looks pretty raggedy and we can't have that. So I'll fix this and use it for some other project. But this is what the dress looks like. I'm really proud of it. It was super easy. I did this in a day, maybe in a matter of hours. So it wasn't that hard to execute at all. I would definitely say this is a beginner level project. And yeah, I tried the dress on and it fit me too. So that was cool. So thanks so much you guys for stopping by. I hope this video helped you learn how to make a cow neckline dress and like and subscribe.